Hello my friends, how fun to see you again. It was some time ago. Have you been training anything? In the first episode we went through grammar and the most basic stuff regarding the Kurdish language, while we in the second episode learn some numbers and the clock. Keep in mind that it is important that you repeat and train as much as possible to keep your brain warm and not forget anything from previous episodes. We are kind of busy and are not always able to keep up with upcoming episodes in time, but we promise that they will come sooner or later. Today we will go through family and work. Remember that on our website everythingaboutkurdistan.com you can find all lessons with some downloadable word list which you can print out and train on outside of the phone or the computer screen. Now let's start with some family words. Brother, bra. Sister, khushk. Mother, daik. Father, bauk. Let's do it one more time. Brother, bra. Sister, khushk. Mother, daik. Father, bauk. Now let's try to use these words in sentences. There is two ways to say my brother on. If you talk with your own brother, you can say Bram. So Bram is the word when talking to a very close friend or your real brother. Chiake Bram. What you doing, brother? If you talk with someone about your brother, you say Brakem. Brakem nawi Hogera. My brother's name is Hoger. Same thing applies to other family members. What are you doing, sister? Chiake khushkum. And when you talk with someone about your sister, you say khushkakam zireka. My sister is clever. Zirek, clever. My dad's name is Soran. Baukum nawi Sorana. Dad, what are you doing? Bauka chiakate. My mom's name is Leila. Daikem nawi Leilaya. Mom, what are you doing? Daika chiakate. When calling on your father or mother, these phrases works. Mom, Daya, Daika, Dad, Baba, Bauka. Alright, so let's pause the video for a while. Go back to what we've been going through and repeat all of it. When you feel ready, let's move on. Aunt, poor. My aunt is very kind hearted. Purem zordal paka. Dul, heart. Pak, clean. Similar to the English language, the word aunt is same, whether it is the sister of your father or your mother. You simply call both of them poor. However, the Kurdish language does separate the word uncle depending on if it is your father's brother or your mother's brother. Here we have the word mom, which is an uncle from the father's side, and the word khal, which is the uncle from the mother's side. Uncle, mother's side. Khal, uncle, father's side. Mom, aunt. Poor. There is also different ways in using the word uncle in Kurdish. If I would like to say that my uncle Sirwan is kind-hearted, one would have to put the letter A after mom. Simply, mama Sirwan dalpaka. But if I would talk about my uncle to somebody else, for example, my uncle is kind-hearted, it would be Mamem Dalpaka or Mama Sirwanem Dalpaka. This simply means my uncle Sirwan is kind hearted. The word cousin also has some important rules in the Kurdish language. Here the word changes depending on which cousin you are talking about. If the cousin is the child of your father's brother, then the word would be Amoza. If your cousin is the child of your mother's brother, then the word would be Khaloza. And thirdly, if your cousin is the child of your father or mother's sister, the word would be Purza. Cousin, father's brother, Amoza. Cousin, mother's brother, Khaloza. Cousin, father or mother's sister, Purza. My cousin's name is Bawan. Amozai Mennawi Bawana. 
خالوزای من ناوی باوانا پورزای من ناوی باوانا Grandfather باپیر Grandmother داپیر The word پیر means old and together with the first two letters of daya da داپیر can be connected with old mother or grandmother the same thing goes the other way around, meaning that the two letters for Baba, B-A, becomes Ba-Pir, which is connected to old father or grandfather. One can also say Baba Gora for grandfather and Daya Gora for grandmother. Gora means big in Kurdish, and here Baba Gora becomes big father, which in Kurdish also means grandfather. Now, let's continue by checking in on these words too. Let's do it together the first time. Friend, haure, brader, heval. Boy, kur. Girl, kitch. Man, piau. Woman, jin. Now, read them a couple of times and try to learn these. What about the kids then? If you have a little son or a little daughter, you simply say the same thing that you already have learned for boy and girl. So, you say kur to your son and kitch to your daughter. And if I were to call on them, I would say kitchim or kurram or kitchimin or kurimin. An older person can also say kurram or kitchim to a random kid in town. Remember that the Kurdish language is very adapted to showing respect. As a young person, it is disrespectful to call on an older person only by the first name. Even if it works in most of the Western world, this is seen as disrespectful in Kurdistan. For example, you can't call on an older woman or man by her or his first name. Instead, you can use the word mama for an older guy, which means uncle. This doesn't mean that he is your uncle, but it is working as a respectful way to call on somebody. Another word which works instead of mama is kak. For example, kak reboar. In this context, it would be disrespectful only saying reboar. Instead, you say kak reboar, and this especially to someone that is more unknown to you. If it would be a closer friend, then no problem. If it would be a family member, it depends on the age of the member. Use this rule when calling on somebody older than yourself. One can put in the letter A after kak, which becomes kaka. This is the word for calling on your big brother. For example, kaka azad. If your bigger brother, which you are calling on, is named Azad. A third respectful word for calls can be Khala, for example, Khala Pola. The words Mama, Kak, Kaka and Khala is all respectful words that are used for calling on an older male person. But how do you speak if you want to respectfully call on a woman then? One example is the word Khan, but in this case, Khan is used after the name. For example, Salar Khan. Another word is Dada. For example, Dada Khoshi. A third way to respectfully call on somebody is by using the title of the person. For example, Ma Mosta, if you are speaking to a teacher. Teacher, Ma Mosta. You could, for example, call on a teacher saying, Ma Mosta Alan. The word doctor also works, for example, Dr. Fazil. These rules are quite important to know and I really recommend that you learn these and feel secure using them, especially if you are in Kurdistan. Let's go through some sentences. My brother's name is Ferhad. Brakem nawi Ferhada. Here I clearly say that it is my brother, Brakem. What's your sister's name? Khushkaket Navi Chia. Here you say Khushkaket since we are talking about somebody else's sister. If the conversation would be about my own sister, it would be Khushkakem. But in this case, what's your sister's name? Khushkaket Navi Chia. My sister is 10 years old 
And here you see my sister, Khushkakam. My sister is 10 years old. Khushkakam dasala. How many cousins do you have? Tochen amozat heya. Tochen khalozat heya. Tochen purzat heya. Some other extra phrases that can be good to know about is day, roj, week, hafta, month, mang, year, sal. Let's do it one more time. Day, roj, week, hafta, month, mang, year, sal. Alright, so another time, let's pause the video and look back at everything we've done until now. Train on it a couple of times because now we will look at the working phrases of this lesson. Lawyer, parezer. Prosecutor, dawakari geshti. Courtroom, juri dadga. Court, dadga. Nurse, perestiar. Doctor, Psisk or doctor, pharmacist, dermansas, hospital, nakhoshkhana or khastakhana, pharmacy, dermankhana, baker, nanawa, babysitter, chowderi mandal, children, mandal, school, khwendanga, kindergarten, bakhche sawayan. Bartender, Khizmetgari Bar, Restaurant, Cheshkhana, Coffee Shop, Chaykhana or Kawakhana, Teacher, Mamosta, Police, Police, Police Station, Police Khana, Soldier, Sarbaz, Military, Supa, Driver, Khafer, Taxi Driver, Khafuri taxi. Bus driver. Khafuri pass. Bus station. West gay pass. Pilot. Frokawan. Airport. Frokakhana. Shop seller. Frojari boutique. Market seller. Frojari bazaar. Engineer. Andaziar. Judge. Dadwer. Photographer. Wenagir. Photo, Wena. Hairdresser, Qajbur or Sertash. Author, Nusir. Singer, Gorani Bej. Actor, Akter. Worker, Krekar. Journalist, Rojna Manus. Cook, Chest Lenar. Waiter, Khizmet Kari Chest Khana. Artist, Hunermend. Farmer, Jutyar. Builder, Krekari Binasazi. A drawing artist, Hunermendi Shewakar. Politician, Siaset Medar. Psychologist, Pispuri Derunas. Butcher, Qasab. Blacksmith, Asenger. Cleaner, Khawankar. Dentist, Pzishki Dan. Translator, Wargir. Work, car, or ish. Alright, that was a lot of words, so don't forget to go back and train on them. Let's do some sentences. Where do you work? Le que kardeke. Where? Que. There, lewe. Here, lera. Do you like your job? Karaket badulla. Don't you like your job? Karaket badulnia. Come, let's go to work. What about Broimbo Serkar? Just like work. Serdar worked as a dentist. Serdar worked Pzishkid Dan Kardakat. Ava is a teacher and works in a school in Kurdistan. Ava ma mostaya ula khwendengayek la Kurdistan Kardakat. Rona is an author. Rona Nusera. Alright, those are the words for lesson 3. Let's play around and train on these. In the first round, I will say some words in Kurdish, and as I say it, you may pause the video if you want to and figure it out in English. During the second round, we do the opposite way. I say something in English and you try it in Kurdish. Ready? Chaykhana. 
درمان ساز خوندنگا ماموستا چشت خانه فروکوان وینا اکتر روژنا منوس پزیشکی ددان کار لکوی کار دکیت کارکت بدل نیا All right, let's go for the second round. I say something in English and you do it in Kurdish. Cleaner. Translator. Judge. Pilot. Airport. School Baker Hospital Do you like your job? Serda works as a dentist. Rona is an author. Alright, so that's all for today's lesson. Everything is up on our website, everythingaboutkurdistan.com. Train as much as you can and if it is so that you have somebody in your surrounding who knows Kurdish, try to train together with them. Talk a lot of Kurdish with them and use a lot of time to just repeat and repeat. Keep a look out in the YouTube channel and we will in time put out lesson 4 where we talk about the body and clothes. Until then, don't forget to subscribe on the channel, like and comment and we will see you next time.